this is Trey Faso. Welcome to my Blue Ray update for the week beginning July 16th, 2017. I have a few titles here, and I took advantage of the Criterion sale, so let me go through those first. Uh, I went to Barnes & Noble on Friday when I went to see, um, uh, oh, look at this, <laughs> getting rid of the movie. When I went to see, uh, you know, War for the Planet Apes, and I stopped by Barnes & Noble after to take advantage of the Criterion sale and got a few titles here, and I want to get some more uh, come Friday. But let me just go through the ones I got now because I'm really super excited and wait for the sale for a while. And again, thank you to Leroy Green uh, for telling me the date, which was Tuesday, for starting. So anyway, let me get right to it. Okay, this movie I read about um, when I, I think I saw it on the Barnes & Noble website. But anyway, this movie is, is directed by Nicholas Ray, and this finally came up. A Criterion, excuse me, this is They Live By Night. Okay, and um, this is, I'm gonna, looking forward to watching this. This spells um, <coughs> Farley Granger, uh, and this is like 95 minutes black and white, and basically the story about a guy that's been kicked out on his block, and he meets this girl that, and it's 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 a complicated story, but it's what I'm looking forward to watching. And I think I'm probably gonna watch this tomorrow, because I'm on vacation, so for two more days. So I think I'm gonna probably watch this tomorrow. So look for my review of this. <laughs> okay, the next movie is a movie I've seen a long time ago. Uh, again, this is a Francis Ford Coppola film, and this is Rumblefish. I remember this. I remember this because uh, I remember Matt Dillon being in it, uh, Mickey Rourke, and Diane Lane. <laughs> and it's based on the young no the novel by S. E. Hinton, who also did The Outsiders and stuff. But uh, I just remember the way it was shot because it's shot like in black and white. It's 94 minutes. I didn't know it was that short. But it's been a really long time since I've seen this, so I'm definitely looking forward to watching this again as well. And again, uh, I just remember <coughs> the way it was shot in black and white. It just looked fantastic. And I remember the story, Rumblefish. And it's just, I can't wait to see this again. Check this one out. So I had to grab that. Now, this next movie is a movie that I saw, I think, on cable a long time ago. And this stars a young Scarlett Johansson. And, of course, um, but the, the star of it is not, she's sort of like a co-star on this. Uh, what's her name? I don't remember the Thora Birch. That's her name. I'm sorry. That's her name. She's this story and and also what's the guy? She's like a weird. She has weird habits. I remember and stuff. And she's kind of a misfit, and she kind of connects with uh, Steve Buscemi. He's like a. I think he owns a record store. Yeah, record. Yeah, record collector. And she kind of bonds with him, and stuff. And it, it's a really nice story. I remember seeing this years ago on cable, and this. Really like it. I guess and you get a young Scarlett Johansson in this. She looks really young in this. Okay, like a teenager, probably like 15 or something, whatever. But it's a really good story. I remember that. And so it's been a while, so I'm looking forward to rewatching that. Now, this next movie is an old Hollywood classic. <coughs> this is supposed to be a classic, and I love old Hollywood movies. And this is called Sullivan's Travel, starring Joel McCree and Veronica Lake. It's basically about the story about a, uh, it's a lightweight comedy by uh, Preston Sturgis, who was a famous director. And it's about a director, actually, who decided to make a, a, a serious movie about suffering. And he basically goes on the road as a hobo, and he runs into Veronica Lake's character. And it's supposed to be a really good screwball comedy. So I'm looking forward to watching that. So that's why I picked that one up. Now, the last but not least criterion I got now is a movie called Straw Dogs. It's directed by Sam Peckinpah. It stars Dustin Hoffman, Susan George. And it basically takes place... because. In England, a mathematician played by Dustin Hoffman, he moves back to England with his English wife, Susan George, where basically he's, him and his wife are like set upon by the by the locals. And, you know, they basically try to bully him. They, well, they, I think they do bully him. And that's in, and he snaps, basically, straw dogs. I heard about it a long time, and then they had the remake that came out, which I didn't see all of the remake. I saw part of the remake, so I didn't see it. But I think I have the original, I think I, I don't know if I have the original straw dogs. I think I might have it. Somewhere in there, but this is a criterion, and definitely I want to see this from. I want to see the Dustin Hoffman version of this from beginning to end. So again, look for my review of this. I'll be watching this because I love Dustin Hoffman and Sam Peckinpah. is supposed to be a great director, so I definitely want to see this. Okay, so that's that. And the last but not least is a movie I pre-ordered uh, from Best Buy. Of course, I'm talking about. Let me take the tape off of that. I'm talking about Fate of the Furious. Or Furious 8. Okay, this is uh, Charlie Theron in this, The Rock, Jason Statham, and of course Vin Diesel. And this is the one where he basically, uh, he turns, supposedly turns on the team. Okay, and this has the, uh, 
extended director's cut, which is only on the digital version of this. So I won't be giving that away. <laughs> so I want to see the digital, just to see the extended version of this. But it's a steel book, so I definitely got that and add it to the uh, Fast and Furious collection that I have. And uh, that's it. That's my pickups. Anyway, also, I noticed that, um, again, my, I don't know if it's the camera or whatever it is, but it seems to be freezing a lot. A lot. And I noticed that when I was recording a reaction video, like the video, the audio was played back really low. So I don't know if the camera is freaking out or, you know, I got two web cameras now. Um, so I might start filming with the other web camera. This is the old one I'm filming with right now. But I just noticed that I see notice a lot of pausing and while I'm recording. And then, like I said, when I play the video back, like the audio, sometimes it's like it takes my voice to a really <laughs> low, low, like it's almost like it's playing back really slow. So I don't know if I have to maybe uninstall the software and reinstall it. Maybe that'll do it. But like I said, it, it pauses. And then, it, so I'm just, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of concerning me. And so I, like I said, I might, like I said, experiment tomorrow with the, uh, with the other web camera I got, which is the streaming web camera that I got. I got it, you know, so I can do streaming, which I meant to do <laughs> when I was on vacation, but I didn't do that. So I don't know if today or tomorrow if I do some streaming, because there's a couple of topics I want to talk about. So, which I don't want to, today's Game of Thrones, so I'll probably maybe do the streaming part tomorrow. Maybe a streaming about all these superhero news that we got lately. Maybe I'll do that, do that one tomorrow, maybe sometime. Anyway, uh, anyway, titles, <laughs> here they are. Let me know what you think of these. Have you seen them? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram down there, as well as my other channel, Paul's News and Opinion. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.